the McYon Show. Thank you for watching. I am your host, McYon, and this is my co-host, James. Thank you so much for watching. So as you can see, we do have another phenomenal person sitting here at the table. So let me just tell you who this is. His name is Miguel Cockage, and he's a best-selling published author and honor student whom by the age of 10 published three books, The Adventures of Fireman and The Case of the Stinger. That's the first sequel to the book. And then also Friendly Officers, bestseller promoting community policy. And he became a filmmaker, speaker, philanthropist, and app developer. He receives numerous awards for his achievements. And I tell you, his bio is long, but I'm just <laughs> going to share with you one thing that I pulled out. You know what? I ain't even going to say on man, but he has done something that I am still aspiring to do. You have met former President Obama. Oh, my goodness. So, first of all, welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. I am just so proud of you. When I was reading your bio and about your books, I was like, God, that little man, he really is doing it. You really doing I'm proud of you because you can be such a, a positive role model for other um, children of your age and younger. And, you know, sometimes older. We aspire older people as well. So I want to thank you for what you're doing and to realize that you didn't have to wait until you became an adult to be an author. Right? right? <laughs> you agree with that, right? Yes. Okay. So James, you want to say something? You have a package that you would like to mm -hmm. give me, Gail? Here you go. Thank you. There's a shit in there for you. Awesome. Awesome. You see James is on it. You see how this young entrepreneur is? He made sure that he knew when there was going to be other kid newest on the show that he would bring his products and then here to have more people talking about his platform. Thank you. Thank you. James. Uh, I like this shirt. <laughs> That's an awesome shirt, right? Okay. And also we got some stats here. So James, you have your first stat that you want to share with the audience? Did you know that 90% of first through eighth graders are uh yes because i'm in seventh and um this year it was like a lot of eighth graders like bullying some of it was like that but it was turned around in mm -hmm. our school so it was like a lot of eighth graders bullying sixth graders mm -hmm. so it was like i was in six at the time i think yeah i was in six it was like last year so it was crazy how I was, I was not a part of it. The thing was because I think it was because something about I, I'm not that type of person that is like a, I, I wouldn't say like a nerd or a geek or something. I'm not that type of person that's like that's quiet. I'm like that type of person that's open up, saying things. Mm -hmm. Like if I have to say something, I have to say something mm -hmm. because. That's just my personality, mm -hmm. and I, I love. And sometimes it's like sometimes it gets kind of tough at school because I think about like this year, my art teacher he passed away, mm -hmm. like my former one, mm -hmm. and my sister passed away. Oh, sorry um, to hear that. Yeah, um, it was like last year. I mean, not last year. It was like January. Mm -hmm. um, and ever since I've been going through that, like, I've been feeling down. Mm -hmm. And when I try to, when I feel down, um, I try to think about the good things, like, good things, good times we had in life. And, yeah. um, so sometimes I'll be the person that would, like, stand up. Mm -hmm. If I know, if I don't, if I even don't know the person, then I'll probably stand up because I'm that type of person that would just stand up for anybody. Absolutely, and that's what we need, and that's what um, James' platform is about. It's about speaking up, and that when you see things happening at school, when you're seeing other children being bullied, that you must say something to the nearest adult that you see. 
And that's why we're trying to promote this message, right, James? Because no one should have to feel down by other people bothering them because they feel as though they're different, right? Did you want to say something again? Yeah, I think it's a lot of it's a lot of people like I don't want to bring this up, but like, it's like a lot of people because of bullying. It's like leading to suicide. Mm -hmm. it's like yes, it is. Ninety-two percent of um, high school children are getting bullied, and that leading up to them thinking of suicide or they committed suicide. And I'm glad you brought that up because this is the um this is September the third and September is National Suicide and Depression Awareness Month. So I'm so glad that you brought that up. And the numbers among our children are very high. We can see it in the news and on it on the news and in media every day of children seven, eight and nine years old taking their lives because they're being bullied by things that happen. So this is something that we must change and we must bring more awareness to bullying. James? Mm, and did you also know that two out of three of targets become a bully? Mm. Mm. So that means so so that so that means that if someone is bullying me then nine times out of ten, I'm going to become a bully and maybe bully someone the next year? Maybe. Um, maybe, not. maybe not. That, that happens in a lot of schools. Right? And what happens in my school? Mm -hmm. Like, my friend, he wasn't a bully. He was like, chill, dude. Like, open up his heart to everybody. Mm -hmm. And when he seen this kid get bullied, he couldn't do nothing. Mm -hmm. Bullied him too. And he wanted to be so cool. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my God, I, I want to be so popular. Mm -hmm. But popularity doesn't mean you know, it. Absolutely. And what we're going to do at the end, we're going to have um, Kai and Miguel, we're going to have them to repeat the, a bullying pledge. You know, basically saying that they won't be a part of bullying. So we want to thank you for that, James. And we love your platform and we thank you for those stats. But what we're going to do now, we're going to get into Mr. Miguel. He has three books up here that he has already written, and he is working on his fourth book. So, James, can you go ahead and ask Miguel our first question? Well, I got, before, I got one more statistic. Did you know that 70% of school staff see, see bullying? And I kind of glad about that, too. Uh, yeah, sometimes they don't do it. Because it's like, I heard this before, but it's it's like getting to the point where staff, like some staff are scared to step in. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, I don't know what's going on with that, but it's kind of crazy. Because I'm in seventh grade, I just got into seventh grade, and I'm already seeing signs of bullying. Mm -hmm. First week, it was this kid getting bullied, he was about to get jumped by them. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to step in, but I had got an adult. Mm -hmm. Well, awesome. We thank you for that. We thank you for getting an adult. And and in order for it to and change, the snitch. We, have, we, don't we don't believe in snitches. We don't believe in snitching. There is no such thing as a snitch. When, when, when something is going on that may can cause somebody their life, because remember, we're talking about suicide, so always think about the victim. That if you don't say nothing, then they may go home and kill themselves. Mm -hmm and commit, su commit suicide, so we don't want to do that. We don't, there is no snitch. Okay. I just, like, absolutely, there's nothing to me. Right, but we always want to make sure that we're speaking up, and, and as you talk about this, this is what brings awareness to be able to change the behavior mm -hmm. of the teachers that's sitting there and, you know, turning their eyes to this. So we thank you guys for that. So your, our first question to you, your first question is, if you could spend one day with one of your characters, which one would it be? It would probably be the time slower. <laughs> he's like, he's like my sidekick. Mm -hmm. so he's like my best friend. And which book? Oh, these two. These two? Yeah. Okay. This one is just about coming to see. Okay, okay. Um, because he's like, he's like a cool dude. Mm -hmm. Like, so say if I was like, I'm just, 
I'm just, just like this tall dude, six foot three. I'm like, I'll probably be six foot. Um, <laughs> let's just say I grew up. <laughs> and, oh my gosh. and like, he can slow down time. Though. So, oh wow! Man, so, I like him. He can slow down time. <laughs> so say if that goes into the future, <laughs> and I see myself as this tall dude, and him as this tall dude, and I want to say we like we get some donuts, mm -hmm. we get distracted. <laughs> I'll get to the donuts. Um, you get distracted. Uh, so listen, let me ask you this next question because that may take you into the donut store. Mm -hmm. So what is your favorite part of the book? Okay, so my favorite part <laughs> is in this book. So my favorite part is when I I have, I'm like, I got stumped because mm -hmm. I'm allergic to bees in real oh, life. Like, I hate bees. Um, I don't even like honey. <laughs> um, that's how much I hate bees. But I went... So we were, I was stung mm -hmm. by this pet bee. Um, and my cur, the thing that cur curry was donuts. <laughs> so the time server was like, what do you need? What do you need? I was like, donuts. <laughs> <laughs> and, and got me some donuts. Mm -hmm. right from Yes, Dunkin' Donuts. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> we oh. need a sponsor. Mm -hmm. and, oh, and I got a comment for Time Stopper. Um, Wait, hold on. We're not, we ain't up there. We talked about the <laughs> Adventures of the Fire I got, a I got a comment, though. Oh, okay. Go ahead. So, um, I would say, like, what if you got late for school? Like, weren't the Time Stoppers, and his name is Time Stopper? Oh, yeah. Time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that and gets probably, you not late for school. Oh, yeah. you that's like probably, it, right? That's probably one reason I'll probably call him. <laughs> I need you to stop time right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I can't do that. I'm in class. <laughs> I'm like, that was a good class. <laughs> that was a good one. I need you to stop time right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's like, okay. try it, but the teacher catches me. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I zoom to class. Mm -hmm. I'm in. He stops. It. He makes the time. Teachers like probably like come sit down. I, class probably <laughs> just started. <laughs> and oh yeah. goodness. So, what is your advice for aspiring kid authors? What would you tell someone who's look, watching you right now and they know they want to write a book, but they may be a little scared? Okay, so never be scared. Like, always follow your passion. Mm -hmm. This is like an important part because I, I, my, my, um, my passion wasn't writing books. Mm -hmm. I, I love to write, but I love to write books. Mm -hmm. My passion actually. Right now. Why do you want to tell me? Go ahead, uh, tell me. No. Because no. <laughs> I heard it was a question about it, so. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> um. So. Uh, I would let. I was just sitting. This is just the story. So I was just sitting in the room, just writing. Mm -hmm. You know, being bored, <laughs> like a normal, normal eight-year-old would be. <laughs> um. I was probably on my Xbox. So I wanted to take time for my Xbox. Being the boy that I wanted to be, go outside and play with. You know, I had no friends. <laughs> Not no friends like in school. I had no friends in the apartment. Uh huh. So I was probably like right. I was writing. I was writing. Gave it to my mom. I'm blaming this one. <laughs> she never. Read it until three months late. Late. Yes. <laughs> and my see when I was doing I love children. When I was doing this thing, they um, can't When I was doing this thing at one of my camps that I went to this summer, mm -hmm. um, it was about um, civil war and so 
and business plan, which Harry knew about. So. Mm -hmm. um, um, so I put I put that same story in my biography, and I said, "Welcome to selfish man, selfish land, mom." <laughs>
Well, what you can do, we will definitely go to your page and we can share. Oh, and my website. Miguel yeah, give me your website. MiguelCoppage.com. Okay, you heard that, guys. So I just want to thank my co host. You want to say something else? Yeah, and I need a thousand followers. Right here. A thousand followers. You yes. want them on, on where? On Facebook? On Instagram? Instagram. Okay, give your follow Instagram. Follow the Adventures of Fireman. Or you can follow my other account, which I post. The Adventures of Fireman. No, no, <laughs> the Adventures of Fireman or my other account, uh, dot underscore. But dot underscore, I got the dance. Awesome. So on Instagram, the Adventures of Fireman, follow him. Also, James is on Instagram at 34me. James, go ahead and talk. My Instagram is Geek Society 3 for Me. There you go. And my website is www.iii4meinc.com. Awesome. I want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight. You can get in contact with me on Facebook at MBA Speaks and Instagram at McYon Brown Anderson. We want to thank you for tuning in. We will be back next Monday at 6 p.m. And this month we're going to have all kid entrepreneurs. So gather your children and have them buy the TV, the iPad, your smart TV, whatever you got. And let them see these aspiring youth. And maybe they can get encouraged and they can do something they want to do. Maybe they want to write a book. Maybe they want to start a business. But this is the um, platform that we will be able to help highlight them. So, again, thank you. We want to thank our sponsor. We want to thank the Lakeisha Brown Foundation and also 3 for me Thank you. And until next time, God bless and have a great night. Have a great night.